The development of AIoT is advancing in more diversified applications, such as artificial intelligence, image recognition, sensing, or smart healthcare. While these AIoT endpoint devices are exposed to information security risks, they also require more security needs. All the layers of chip security, including application, operating system, firmware, and hardware layers need corresponding security designs to ensure the entire system's security level. The most critical design in the overall security starts with the root of trust in the hardware layer, which is the foundation of trust in the entire chip. The hardware root of trust provides the trust base, hardware identifier, hardware unique key, and entropy required for the secure operation of the entire chip, and therefore is often the focus of hacker attacks. If there is no design that can effectively resist the attacks, the secrets of the entire chip's secure operation would be easily obtained by attackers. This will allow the attackers to crack the identity authentication and data encryption and steal product design know-how, causing various application security problems. Chip tampering methods are typically categorized as invasive, semi-invasive, and non-invasive attacks. Invasive and semi-invasive attacks use physical methods to delayer the SOC chip and then use TEM, SEM, or nanoprobe to directly analyze the design and operation information of the physical circuit layer. Non-invasive attacks usually use electromagnetic waves, software, or firmware attacks. The chip is vulnerable when a fault is injected into the chip to cause a shortage of resources or a voltage surge attack to cause an unstable chip operation. To fully enhance the defensive protection of the hardware root of trust, a system must have the following three components. 1. Secure storage. The storage unit for important security information on the chip must include access control and a privilege management design. The storage unit also needs to obfuscate and encrypt data read and stored to prevent electrical or physical reverse engineering during power on and power off operations. 2. Secure environment. The chip design must also include a dedicated register, the logic circuit design for secure operation, as well as other auxiliary circuits for detecting abnormal behavior. This is to avoid any vulnerabilities in the circuit design, which will allow hackers to steal confidential data through power analysis. 3. Secure operation. The design must have privilege control to monitor the operational legitimacy for accessing confidential information and prevent hackers from controlling the system or obtaining important information through fault injection. Therefore, a qualified hardware root of trust requires a comprehensive anti-tempering design and a complete security policy to protect the entire system. Take Puff Security's hardware root of trust IP, PuffRT, as an example. PuffRT's anti-tampering design combines both digital function, soft macro, and the analog design, hard macro, to defend against attacks, which integrates quantum tunneling Puff's native chip fingerprint and true random number generator, TRNG, with secure OTP, and combines the static random number from Puff with the dynamic random number from TRNG to protect the whole design. The relevant anti-tampering features are categorized as follows according to the three aspects mentioned in the previous section. For secure storage, PuffRT meets three criteria. 1. PuffRT has components such as anti-fuse OTP, which is inherently resistant to SEM and TEM probes. 2. PuffRT uses the unique static random number of each chip's built-in fingerprint to encrypt data in real time then stored into OTP. 3. PuffRT has multi-level security-oriented layout and top-middle shielding to effectively prevent any possible invasive and non-invasive probes. In terms of secure environment, PuffRT also has the following functions labeled as functions 4, 5, and 6. To begin with, 4. PuffRT can limit the number of hardware reading to avoid replay attacks with post-masking design. 5. PuffRT utilizes functions such as the word lock, 
not accessible, or zeroization implemented in security OTP and combining with the security zone settings in APB to realize a complete privilege setting. 6. Implementing self-health check circuit and algorithm to continuously monitor the entire operating environment for any abnormal behaviors in the circuit. For the last requirement, secure operation, PuffRT has the following four functions labeled as 7, 8, 9, and 10. Starting with 7, PuffRT can implement dummy readings, voltage regulator circuits, and level comparators to detect abnormal voltage behavior and increase the difficulty of correlation or differential power analysis. 8. Randomize the read operation by building in a dynamic random number to prevent against addressing attacks and fault injection attacks. 9. Using cyclic redundancy check to protect the design from hackers arbitrarily changing input values regardless of security modes, function modes, and key addresses. 10. CRC is also used to protect analog read path and register against malicious attacks and inputting faulty values so the design will output prestige information. The hardware root of trust is the cornerstone foundation of the entire chip's secure operations. In addition to providing the identity, keys, and entropy source required for secure operations, it must also be equipped with a full suite of analog and digital anti-tampering designs to protect the chip's trust base from being leaked or tampered with. If the hardware root of trust has all of this, it means the protection requirements of a hardware root of trust for secure storage, secure environment, and secure operation. PuffRT is the perfect product to satisfy the points in this article and is your best choice of hardware root of trust IP. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us and we will do our best to answer your questions.